Today's topic is metallurgy of iron in periodic classification of elements unit 8 chapter 8 in chemistry. So we have so we have discussed about aluminium and copper. Now we are going to discuss the metallurgy of iron. The iron is, a, is the most second most abundant metal next to aluminium. So the aluminium is most mostly available and next to aluminium it is iron. It occurs in nature as oxides, sulfides and carbonates. So the iron is in, occurs in the form of oxides, sulfide and carbonate. Some of the ores of iron are hematite Fe2O3, magnetite Fe3O4, iron pyrites FeS2. So iron is chiefly extracted from the that is hematite or Fe2O3 so which is the chief ore of iron means hematite Fe2O3. Now we will see the extraction process in that the first process is concentration by gravity separation. The powdered ore is washed with the steam of water. By applying the steam the powdered ore is washed off. As a result, the lighter sand particles and other impurities are washed away and the heavier ore are particles that is ore particles settles down. So the light while washing with the steam water, the light sand particles and other impurities are washed and the heavier particles of the ore settles down. So this was done by gravity separation method. So Gravity separation method means the powdered ore is washed off with steam water while washing light sand particles and impurities will be washed off. Only the heavier particles of ore will be settled at the bottom. Roasting and calcination. So now the concentrated ore is heated. Heated in a reverberatory furnace. It is a type of furnace where the ore should be roasted for this they need heating so that purpose that is for in a laboratory furnace they will heat the ore so as the result while heating what will be go out the moisture of ore will be go out and sulfur arsenic phosphorus impurities are oxidized also so the roasting and calcination means roasting means the heating of ore okay in a laboratory furnace the ore was uh, the ore was heated while heating what will be get rid of the ore the moisture will be get out of the ore as well as the sulfur arsenic and phosphorus impurities also oxidized next smelting in bla that is blast furnace so roasting was taken place in laboratory furnace and smelting was taken place in blast furnace the charge consisting of roasted ore, coke and limestone in a ratio of 8 is to 4 is to 1 is melted in a vast furnace. So this one is the vast furnace. Okay. By introducing the that is uh, 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 that uh, uh, introducing it through the hopper arrangement at the top. So this is the hopper arrangement. Okay. The belt which is used the up at the top. Okay. There are three important regions in the furnace. The first region is the lower region. This is the called the combustion region. So the lower region is called the combustion region. The temperature here it is 1500 degrees Celsius. In this region the coke burns with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. When the charge comes in contact with the hot blast of air. So here they are applying how much uh, that is how much uh, um, heat 1500 degrees Celsius. During that time the coke that is the carbon is you here used is the coke. So the coke burns with the oxygen. So coke combined with oxygen at 1000 degree that is 1500 degrees Celsius and it is heated while this the carbon dioxide is produced as well as the heat is also produced so the heat is ex exhaling outside that is it means it uh, it shows outside 
okay it is expelled outside so that reaction is called exothermic reaction since the heat is liberated so the heat is expelled outside or liberated due to this this reaction is an exothermic reaction next we move on to the middle region the fusion zone so this region is the fusion jo zone okay the temperature prevails at 1000 degree celsius in this region the carbon dioxide is reduced to carbon monoxide so this is called the fusion region where the carbon dioxide which was get in the lower region is reduced to carbon monoxide so here the again it is reacted with carbon that is the coke in the presence of 1000 uh, degree celsius it is heated and produces carbon monoxide and heat is expelled outside that is heat is not formed here minus no so the heat is heat and the limestone decomposes to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide so calcium carbonate is converted to during this process the calcium carbonate is converted to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide under the 1000 degree celsius is heated the two reaction because the heat the heat is not liberated and heat is absorbed that is the minus symbol here and here it shows so because of that heat is absorbed it is an these two reactions are this this one and this one it is an endothermic reaction due to the absorption of heat heat calcium oxide combines with silica to form calcium silicate slag so now the calcium this is calcium oxide combined with silica to form calcium silicate which is a slag like structure okay slag like thing okay and these and all takes place in this region which is known as the fusion zone next the upper region reduction zone so this is where the hopper thing is this is the upper zone region and and you can see this is the upper, upper region where the hopper belt and hopper method was seen here. The type of arrangement was seen there. So the upper region is also called as reduction region. There the temperature is 400 degrees Celsius. In this region the carbon monoxide reduces ferric oxide to form fairly spongy iron. So this carbon monoxide reacts with that is ferric oxide ferric oxide it reduces the ferric oxide into iron that is the spongy iron during this process carbon dioxide gas is liberated at 400 degrees celsius now the spongy that is the molten iron has collected at the bottom of the furnace by removing the slag by removing the slag you can collect the molten iron the iron now the molten iron is called the pig iron so the pig iron is remelted and casted to different molds that is called cast iron which can be can moldings means you can you can make so many things in that in that you can change the shape of it so that type is called the cast iron so the first reaction it is combustion zone okay where 1500 degree celsius was given and there along that is a coke it was added with the you can see the carbon dioxide that is carbon dioxide is formed plus heat is produced here and the middle region is the fusion zone where the carbon dioxide react with carbon reduces to carbon monoxide at 1000 degree celsius and the calcium carbonate at 1000 degree celsius is got heated and forms calcium oxide he this these two reactions are exo that is endothermic reaction now now the calcium oxide reacts with silica, silica to form calcium silicate which is removed as slag and in the upper zone the you are giving 400 degree celsius where the carbon monoxide is going to remove that is reduced this ferric oxide to ferrous or iron and this spongy iron is molten iron which is called as pig iron and this pig iron is remelted and cast to different forms and it is called the cast iron and now we move on to the physical properties it is a lustrous metal so it can be polished and it is grayish white in color the color of the metal is grayish white high tensility malleability ductility can make into sheets 
and wires like appearance and it can be magnetized also you can make the magnet that is called magnetized now we move on to the chemical properties reaction with air <coughs> or oxygen when iron reacts with oxygen that is oxygen is the air it is heated to form magnetic oxide okay a black so fe means iron o2 means oxygen gives fe3o4 black reaction with moist air so when air that is iron reacts with oxygen plus water excess of water it forms rust and this process is called rusting this they may ask in your two marks so fe plus o2 gives h2o that is excess that why they had em put here ex so 2 fe2 o3 um, that is x h2o this is called rusting that is iron reacts with moist moisture air it forms the rust that process is called rusting this they may ask in your two marks reaction with steam when iron reacts with water that is the steam heat water it produces magnetic oxide during this process hydrogen gas is liberated okay or evolved so fe means iron reacts with steam water h2o gives fe3o4 plus hydrogen gases evolved reaction with chlorine fe plus cl2 that is fe means iron cl2 is chlorine gives ferric chloride fecl3 reaction with acids first fe reacts with hcl that is hydrochloric acid gives ferric chloride okay during this process hydrogen is released that is fe plus 2 hcl gives fecl2 plus h2 gases released or liberated so fe plus h2 so4 sulfuric acid gives fe so4 ferrous sulfate and hydrogen gas is liberated so iron reacts with sulfuric acid it forms ferrous sulfate and hydrogen gas is liberated and when iron reacts with nitric acid it forms ferrous nitrate and ammonium nitrate fe reacts with hno3 gives fe no3 to and nh4 no3 with concentrated sulfuric acid it forms ferric sulfate and liberates sulfur dioxide so when iron reacts with sulfuric that is concentrated sulfuric acid it forms ferric sulfate plus sulfur dioxide gases liberated so fe plus h2so4 this is sulfuric acid gives ferrous that is ferric ferric sulfate fe2so4 3 and sulfur dioxide so2 is released plus water h2o so when the iron is dipped in concentrated nitric acid it becomes chemically passive or inert due to the formation of layer of iron oxide fe3o4 on its surface so the iron was dipped in concentrated nitric acid it forms inert it can inert due to the formation of layer layer on the iron and it forms an oxide iron oxide fe3o4 types and uses of iron pig iron so the iron with 2 to 4.5 percentage of carbon it is used in making pipes stoves radiators railings manhole covers and dan drain pipes steel the iron with 0.25 percentage to 2 percentage of carbon it is used in the construction of buildings machineries transmission cables and tv towers and making alloys wrought iron iron with less than 0.25 percentage of carbon making springs anchors and electromagnet so these are the uses of iron they may ask the pig iron in two marks steel iron and wrought iron pig and wrought iron are important they may ask in your two marks okay otherwise they may ask in the four marks write the types and uses of iron Thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubts, post your doubts in the comment box. Give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.